Hello! Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the email quarantine feature in the admin console. Now, it's a great feature in the admin console that lets admins decide which emails contain objectionable content and to then quarantine those emails before they ever make it to their intended recipients. It is up to the admin to decide whether it will make it through or if it's inappropriate and should be rejected. So to do this, you have to go into Apps, and then Google Apps, and then Gmail. From there, you need to navigate down to the Advanced Settings. Now scroll down to Objectionable Content, which is nested under Compliance, and then click Configure. Here's where we can decide which words we deem to be objectionable. So start by giving these a title, and then decide which messages we want this to affect. So for our example, we're just going to apply this rule to internal communication between users on our domain. Now we can decide which words we want to be blocking. So let's decide that the word bad should be blocked. So any email with the word bad will be quarantined, and then we will have to decide whether that should be passed on or not. So click on Save, and then where it says Modify Message, change it to Quarantine Message. Now this means that the message will go into the default quarantine, although you can make more later. Now click Add Setting. So let's try this. We're going to send a message that contains the word bad. But in order to see messages that are going to be quarantined, you have to go to this special address, email-quarantine.google.com slash admin review. From here, you can see our quarantine message. So let's highlight the message, and now we have the option of allowing the message to proceed or to deny it, meaning it will never go through. But if we quickly allow, it will proceed to the recipient. Now let's look at how to create a custom quarantine. Head back into the Gmail section of the admin console, and then click on the Manage Quarantine section. You can click on this Add button here to add a new quarantine, and decide whether or not you would like it to send a rejection message, or just silently drop mail in the quarantine. I'm going to call this Objectionable Content. So the next time you're setting up a quarantine, you can choose to have the messages routed to this quarantine instead of to that default location we viewed earlier. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.